Okay. Here for round one, and I forgot to mention something. Where you could just load up on counter spells, but uh, Duress plays a little bit better with Painful Truths and Monastery Mentor because it's proactive, so that's something to keep in mind. And now a mountain. Uh, my own mountain's pretty great. I think I'm going to lead with that. Duress on turn two, Truths on three. Okay, one swift heath. So some dragon fodders. Okay, that's better for me. Opponent might have another dead protector, that's okay though. We're just looking to buy some time. And I'm pretty sure I'm more scared of Titan Strength than Battle Rage. And our opponent's going to ab it here. Maybe we have to take a turn off to Kolagon's command. We'll see. Basically, bricks on Abbott. So that's awesome. Ew. No. This certainly looks good for us. me. Next turn we can Fable Truth and still have cut open. So there's nothing they can really do. Like if if he could like duress or counter my truths, I might be a little bit concerned about not firing off for that turn, but basically no way to get punished. Um so he discarded Heath so I could duress the team or battle rage. I don't really see a point to doing that quite yet. Maybe there is though. Because next turn maybe I'll want to dig and do other stuff. Guess I just used my mana this turn, which is probably beneficial. Yeah, okay. So the opponent has a bloodstained mire left. We basically ground them into the dust. Uh, so this should get a smoldering marsh. This deck is great. So good. Dig cruising here. So Soulfire and a Jace, both reasonable cards. Uh, Landfall deck doesn't typically typically have removal in this main deck. So yeah, I think I just pick up the two creatures because we already have a shock, and we have more removal spells than our opponent has cards in hand currently. So I think we're doing all right. Basically, just have to find a way to close the game, but even Soul Fire is probably good enough. It just might take a while. Well, there's the other Den Protector. So now they have that loop going on. Um, so I could just start looping fiery impulses. That certainly seems reasonable. with blue mana so we have mana open for all of our other stuff take this thing out
And I think they just have to keep juggling den protectors. I guess maybe Abbott is better since they can put two things in play, but I think at this point they might just be dead. This is like, if if he keeps looping Abbots, we're both paying five mana to like break even or whatever, except I'm gaining three life and, and attacking them, so. Plus I have an active Jace, so a lot of stuff going my way. And this game worked out pretty well. opponent's basically just giving up, I guess. Uh, so, flashing back dig is probably better, but we're just going to go with painful truce. I kind of want to hit my land drops. Make sure that you have enough to do. Uh, or first, first things first is make sure you have enough to do. Second thing is make sure you have enough mana to do the stuff that you are going to want to do. Which once you have Soulfire Grandmaster is pretty important. So I was already pretty flush with spells, and I could have flashback dig to try and find more spells, or even pick up the two lands. But I think just casting Painful Truce is better than that. Meow, 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 meow. Counter draw. Best way to break up Den Protector loops. Uh, the other way to get out of it is to Colgon's command their last card after they get back their Den Protector, but didn't really need it this game. Alright, so onto the sideboard. Removal is generally pretty good. <coughs> Removal and uh, some dispels to not get comboed. Although, it's worth noting that sometimes, well, they're definitely going to have a bunch of raining volleys, but sometimes they have like Sarkin and Outpost Siege. So I guess I probably want some duresses. So maybe I want three duress, two dispel for the post board games. Could see like a uh, radiant flames being good. Command Ojitai's commands are a little too slow. Definitely one of my creatures. Dooms are not great, but they can like interrupt the combo. But I think I'd rather just lower my curve. Get another toasty roasty in there. Yeah, especially since they have all the volleys and stuff. Uh, duress seems pretty good. Maybe I actually want some negates instead of dispel, even though it's like kind of rough because I'm on the draw. Dispel is just so good against their main deck configuration, but post board they just board out a bunch of that stuff anyway. So yeah, I think I need negate and duress. I've never played against a green red landfall deck with this type of configuration before, so it's kind of interesting. Yeah, this looks tight possible since I'm boarding in slower stuff like negate I might want uh, another radiant flames when I'm on the draw just so if if I'm kind of like slowing myself down to hold open negate at least then if they end up with like three creatures in play by turn three uh, I can I have an out to reset the board and then make up for the time I lost by holding negate open even though the things I only want to negate are you know, four and five drops, but there are definitely times where they're advancing their board, you want to hold open the gate to counter outpost siege, and if you do that they just play like another creature and then you're so far behind, but at least Radiant Flames will catch you up then. Right puppy. Right puppy. Puppy you're so smart. You're so good at the magics. Opponent is deep in the tank. On the sideboarding, it is not easy. Mm. 
deep in the tank. All right, that sounds legit. It is not not perfect or anything, but it is certainly good enough to keep. All right, so spear's good. It's gonna beat me up a little bit. Yeah, now I'm in a position where I can't really duress on one, and I want to roast on two. And I kind of might want to just get charm on turn three too, so it's probably best that I don't play that swamp out. <coughs> but if I fetch blue and white off strand delta to cast just guy charm on three, then I only have one red mana and one black mana. Maybe that'll mess me up. Maybe not though. Deck generally wants like two blue and two red and then at least for the earlier stages turn six or so I don't know they have a bunch of creatures I kinda want my radiant flames All right, painful truths alright so Delta's the only one that can get red in the form of a smoldering marsh. So I think I'm going to strand for planes. This might be bad though. I guess I don't have Crackling Doom in my deck, so I don't really. I don't mind not putting Island into play. Or I don't. I don't mind Island being in play, but. I don't want to Delta for Marsh necessarily. I kind of just want to hold that as like a hedge because I'll probably draw another land at some point and then I'll know what I want to use that delta for but I definitely don't need a second white right now I don't even have that many white cards in my deck so I think I should yeah I should just get island and then that can kind of lock me into delta for this that means I can't charm on three but I think that's okay It's only possible I should have just arrest this turn and play Truths next turn. Because now if I play Truths, I could just get like comboed or, or something. I definitely don't want to get outpost sieged. Besieged. Oh man, they hit a land. Beats. Oh, this is not going great. I will say that. So I can't charm this turn, so the only thing I can really do is truth this turn if I want to go the rest plus something else next turn. I think... Oh, that was actually bad. That was very bad. I should have played Swamp. Now I can't truths. I think I should cast truths this turn. <coughs> or I was supposed to, but now I can't. Because I can't delta for swamp because the swamp's in my hand and the island's only on their own tap land. So, yeah. Alright, I guess I'm going to be pretty far behind. But, whatever. Maybe I'll draw Murderer's Cut and it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Hmm. So I truce this turn, played Swamp. I could do it for two to not discard, but I think I'd rather just cycle through an extra land and pay the life. 
But yeah, opponent has four cards and two prowess creatures. Like, that's almost certainly not going to work out well in my favor. So maybe this is the best course of action. Also, maybe I should have a second Radiant Flames in my deck. So it seems like if they have one creature in play, they can't really kill me. Pretty sure I don't want all three, especially considering their sideboard plan, but... I think a second one is perfectly reasonable. Might even be better than Jeskai Charm. And Charm is basically only good if you have Mentor, and if, you, if you've established Mentor, you're probably already doing pretty well. Jeskai Charm at that point locks it up, but I don't think you really need much. You just need, like, a negate. Come on, an anonymous internet opponent. Get dressed. Even though this dress looks more like a blightning than a dress. I think I'd rather have dress here. It's actually a pretty big beat, because I can't strain into Prairie Stream. Or I can't delta into Prairie Stream, so I have to like delta into Smoldering Marsh, and then I can't even play the stream on tap next turn. So playing delta was bad. Swap, 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 swap. It's not working. It's not working. Oh, puppy, puppy! What's our opponent doing? What are they doing? I'm just hanging out, trying to kill people at 5 a.m. like me. Bobby, why are we up so early? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Oh, dear. Cast arrest three minutes ago. Oh, just a three-minute tank on my duress that missed? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So my duress at no point during this game would have hit? That's great. I mean, maybe later, but certainly not now. Oh, sure. Let's keep coming. Hit a Tarkus command. Just kill me. <clears throat> now what? Man, Radiant Flames would be good. Ship it. That's good too. Fortunately, can't play two spells because we big dummies. Go to eight. That's too bad. Yeah, see, this is the spot where it's like, alright, I truthsed, have a bunch of mana, and now I'm light on spells. So, this is where, like, Dig Through Time would really be good if, uh, you know, we were not dead already, but... What are you gonna do? Mostly just waiting to die at this point. God, even next turn I play Prairie Stream and I can't play Jace and Jeskai Charm. This is just the worst. Opponent doesn't want to play Den Protector for whatever reason. Go 
guess I want to play this Jace. Because <coughs> I kind of need to, to take care of all their threats. And just hopefully I don't die. I think this block is kind of greedy, but I kind of need to do this. This is also kind of greedy. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. I was gonna say, I think if they had anything, they should just use it on the Abbot, but who knows? Oh, hello. Hello, my friend. So now I just have to deal with, I guess they can't loop Den Protector, they can just DP and ab it. Which I should be able to mitigate with Jace. Unless something weird happens, like they find a Sarkin or Apo Siege. Yeah, Flames would have been good at any point in this game, so I should have more. Also take up my Jace. What did they get back? <clears throat> DP targeting Swift Spear. All right. I'm gonna try and set up the old combo kill. That's weird not to DP app it, but her hands gotta have something going on. Possibly should have left the island open, because now I actually have Crackling Doom mana. That might be something they're kind of scared of, whereas if I have island, they're just like, alright, let's go for it. And I'm just like, bink, put it on top. I think this is worth it to deny them a draw step. That's not good. That's not good. Ooh, that's good. Hello. Okay. Okay, so I'm likely going to Fire Impulse the Morph. Uh, there's no real reason to do that yet because we could pick up a Mentor off this dig. So, I don't think we're going to need Painful Truths, or Multiple Impulses, or Radiant Flames. So, just leave ourselves some options in the graveyard for later. Uh, cut is not bad, another Jace is not bad. Painful Truths is fine, because they don't have really any direct damage, but I definitely need a way to not die this turn, so... Um... So say I'm minus three Jace on Impulse, Impulse the DP, they get back DP next turn, they play more Swift Spear. Uh, I'm going to have one mana open if I play the Monastery. And like one card in my graveyard, so I could just like cut the Swift Spear and then just have to deal with these looping Den Protectors. So yeah, that seems reasonable.
So yeah, again, that was one of those spots where Truths gave me a bunch of cards and then Dig gave me some spells to work with. And granted, they weren't the best spells in the universe. <coughs> but they were passable. So juggling den protectors, swift spear on top. I could truth this turn, and then have mana open for cuts, and then I kind of want to flashback that dig, but maybe the truths will give me enough cards. I don't know. We'll see. It's obviously a little greedy. Play Soulfire next turn. I can cut with buyback. I don't think my opponent has a spell. And then this way, I don't necessarily have to crack the strand if I don't need to. I can also just play Soulfire flashback roast. Just be sweet. Give me a little breathing room. Oh, maybe I blew it. Did I put a Swiss Spear on top? No, I killed that Swiss Spear, didn't I? No, I didn't. They could have... If they have a Swiss Spear, they could have gotten one back and just killed me. Maybe I'm missing something. Likely the case. Yeah, now, now I might be losing. I, I should have, like, flashback a roast or something. That was kind of silly. <clears throat> flashback roast, gain five, I can fetch in truths and still be okay. But maybe I can just take over this way, too. is weird this, this is the part where it's like all right we're pretty far ahead we're kind of walking on thin ice because we only have two life and a lot of the lands we draw are going to be fetch lands so we might not actually get to play many more lands um but we're pretty far ahead we have a lot of options and we just need to not mess it up you just have to look for the best way to like close the game and lock it up against people it's not easy it just isn't Right, so we'll go to one. One and two are basically the same number. May or may not be worth cutting this. <clears throat> it makes him like a reuse his mana, but if I don't cut this, he can't really flip it to get back another Den Protector because then his loop's gone. But this gets it out of the way. And yeah, maybe I can start attacking with this Grandmaster. And like, I had Jace to lock it down, but I, I might want to flash back a spell this turn. Uh, we just draw a dig. Alright, that works too. So now back at three. And can crack another fetch land. And we can cast two murderous cuts, I believe. Uh, we fetch to a fourth land, activate soul fire. We can cut for one mana, and then we're a little short. 
that they do play two Swiss Spears or something and have two, I don't know, two Titan Strengths, and we would die. So we'd have to, like, dig for some impulses. I guess we played two impulses this game, though. Eh. Alright. Snappy do. So say they just play some summoning sick creatures. What am I doing this turn? So I can like buy back cut for the full amount, that's fine. I kinda wanna just cast my dig though. I could buy back the dig with Soulfire. I don't think that's really necessary, though. Just the full eight mana. No big deal. Not the first time. Likely won't be the last time. So we get the only two spells, which are Mentor and Kolagon's Command. Uh, now, <laughs> now it's going to be tough to lose. Let's see. We can fetch a Plains, so we have 10 mana. We have an Active Jace, we have a Soulfire Grandmaster, we have a Monastery Mentor. So 10 mana, play Mentor, 7. Uh, so I can just play like... Command, cut, impulse, impulse, or whatever, if I wanted to. Hmm. So I think I need to save the K command in case he has a volley. We're definitely playing Monastery Mentor. that thing get out of the way uh, might as well go down on Jace get this Den Protector out of the way and this this is basically how you beat like Den Protector loops, Mastery of the Unseen just like anything that gives them a little bit of staying power like Mentor just crushes that um, plus you have things like Soulfire and Jace to kind of get around it Now we still have buyback murderers cut. And next turn we're just gonna play 30 spells. And I'm gonna be a 10 life, so yeah. Buyback murderers cut, or I have cut plus Kolagon's command. I also have mentor and a bunch of monastery swift spear impersonators. And that's gonna do it.